One question that I receive quite a lot is this one, which services should I flip? Now, the first thing that I have to tell you is this, you should flip what you're knowledgeable about. So for instance, if you do not know anything about logo design, then maybe you should not flip logo designs. Or if you, let's say, offer translation and you offer translation, let's say, between English and Spanish or German and Chinese, or let's say Japanese and um, Hindi or any of these languages, but you don't speak these languages, then it is probably not a good, a good idea to flip these things. Of course, there are always, let's say, certain skills that everyone has. For instance, let's say you create um, or you let other people create logo designs for a company. You can objectively, for instance, say, all right, this is a good logo. This is a suitable logo for this company. But if you cannot even tell whether, for instance, in the case of a translation, if you can't even tell whether the translation is correct or not, then this definitely is a problem. The same is if, for instance, you set up, let's say, an app or something like that for someone else, or again, a freelancer is for you setting up to a, for another person an app, and the app doesn't work, then you, of course, cannot control anything about the process. You cannot say, oh, here's the mistake. That is what we got to fix. I'm sorry about that. You cannot do that. So it is important that you actually find a niche that you're knowledgeable in, that you know something about, and then as soon as you figure out which niche you are knowledgeable in, then of course you should uh, start flipping in that niche. Again, I recommend you building a flipping business as soon as you can't accept any more customers. So in my case, for instance, I started hiring other people. I started flipping at that point when I had so many offers coming in, where I had so much work to do that I just simply couldn't do it anymore. At that point, I hired someone else. That, of course, means that before I hired someone, I knew what I was doing. And that is what I would recommend you to do as well. Now, which niches are profitable in the flipping field? Well, what I would recommend you to do is this. I would go for a flipping niche which has a very high march. So let's, for instance, say you're offering a logo. And that logo costs you, let's say, $20 to make, and you charge $40 for that logo. Thus, you're going to generate a profit of $20. That's pretty good, right? Yes, it is. But if, for instance, you would offer ghostwriting, an ebook or something like that, and for that ebook, let's say you receive $500 and you pay $200 to another person to do this work for you, well, then of course, what's your profit on this deal? $300. $300 on a single deal. And for you, in every case, it's pretty much the same work because you gotta message that person or that person is messaging you, you talk back and forth, perhaps you even go on a Skype call or something like that. And as soon as you got that offer, you just send it to your freelancer. So for every single job, you probably have almost the same time that you're investing into it. So why not then invest time into a job that actually makes you a lot of money so that you can focus on other things? Like let's for instance say you generate, um, f let's say two ghostwriting deals and if you would offer logo design, you would generate, let's say in the same time, 10 logo design deals. And you would spend a lot of time on these logo design deals. Well, then of course, you could also spend that time on these two ghostwriting deals and you would, in absolute terms, make more money. Because as we said, the profit for, let's say the logo design would be $20. So if you generate, let's say, 10 deals and you spend quite a lot of time on these deals, then you made $200. But if you, for instance, only generate two deals in the ghost writing niche, um, then of course you have $600 as a profit and you probably spend less time on generating these deals and you spend less time in the process because you just give that um, offer, you give that, let's say, um, uh, work to your freelancer, this person does all the work and then you send the final finished product to the customer. That's a very, very simple process to build your own um, business and to make money. So there are a couple more niches that have very high marches. For instance, you could go into the uh, online store niche that you set up in online store for other people or websites in general. Apps are very, very profitable. These are the niches that I would recommend you to uh, focus on. Now, if you, of course, are talented in other ways. If you do work for, um, let's say, in, in other niches, then of course that is not a problem at all. Also, you can make a lot of money in the translation niche. So for instance, if someone comes to you and says, well, I wanna, let's say, translate 10,000 words and I would pay you, let's say, five cents for every single word, then, well, of course, this would be $500 you could make if you charge, 
if you get someone else uh, to do it for let's say $200 you would in this case again generate a profit of $300 so there's lots and lots of ways how you can make money as a uh, as basically as a professional flipper, let's say, as someone who is flipping services professionally, but you should start out with something that you're passionate about, that you know something about. But generally, the niches that I would recommend if you just wanna have the most profitable niches, the first most profitable niche is definitely the ghostwriting niche at this moment, because you can make a lot of money very, very easily. Then the second one is um, websites and online stores. Third one is apps. The fourth one uh, would then be translation. And then of course, you know, something like uh, logo design, brand identities and so on. And then of course other niches as well. But these are the five that I would really recommend you to go into. But all right, that was it now here for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope we can see each other in the next one.